Thank you, Madam President. Colleagues, uh, the Russian Minister of Justice has consistently refused to register any new political parties since February 2009, the most recent being the People's Freedoms Party, whose two leaders are among us today in the gallery, Mr. Mikhail Kostyanov and Mr. Boris Nemtsov. Madam High Representative, the future of the EU-Russia strategic relations must be linked directly to the efforts to strengthen democracy, the rule of law and the respect for fundamental rights in Russia. The Kremlin is breaching Russia's commitments as a member of the Council of Europe and the signatory of the European Convention of Human Rights and therefore ought to be disciplined if the requirements for political pluralism continue to be disregarded. Moreover, as we know, the Russian authorities continue to press opposition. Like yesterday, the authorities issued six months exit for Mr. Boris Nemtsov, one of the leaders of the party Parnas. I would recall that the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe holds the right to withhold verific the credentials of the parliamentarians through elections deemed in breach with European standards. The European Union must also insist that the Kremlin withdraws all the decisions and regulations concerning the non-registration of political parties in Russia that do not comply with the European Convention on Human Rights. Putin has got until September to reconsider when the elections are announced, although we can see already now there are the tracks have been laid. Merci, Madame Odjulant. La parole 